Okay, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of background on this job. Um, I followed up after two other engineers had been there. They had replaced the electrodes, the leads, the gas valve and the spark generator. The problem with the boiler was an E5 fault code. It would only give the E5 with a central heating demand. The hot water would work fine um, and would only intermittently do E5, but the central heating would do E5 consistently. Um, so no one was able to get the combustion ratios set on high or low. Once the ratios were set and the boiler was turned off and turned back on, it wouldn't light again. So what I eventually found was that the ionisation current on low flame wasn't enough to tell the PCB the flame was lit. Um, obviously all the things to do with that had been replaced, so it was quite, it was an unusual fault and it was actually quite an unusual fix, but apparently according to the manufacturer is a relatively common occurrence. So this is what fixed it. Okay, so we've got a Remaha uh, or a Ramea yeah. Avanta Plus 28C. Uh, if you're getting an E5 error code and you, your combustion ratios are fine, if you press, if you get the thing to light and stay lit, which is the hard bit, if you press the plus and go to FL, that's the ionization current. So 9.3, this boiler is running on low at the moment. 9.3, 9.4 is plenty. Now this boiler was stuck at 1.2 to 1.3 until this little seal here was replaced. And this seal made the difference between a working boiler and a non-working boiler. So this is where it goes. That's the seal there. So the boat, you take the cover off. There's three screws on this plate. That comes out and the burner just slides out. You take this rope seal off, replace it with a graphite seal that has better electrical conductivity. Put it back together and the boiler that's been broken for 45 days is fixed for a little tiny seal. So bear that in mind.